Welcome to Flutie Fridays. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to talk to you about being in a flute section and all the different dynamics that come up when you're playing with a group. A few weeks ago I got an email from a student in England uh, who plays with a group uh, and she was struggling with this dynamic in the flute section, how to maybe help some of the players uh, because she had been playing longer, maybe had more experience and could, feels like she could offer some help, but wasn't sure if they'd be open to it, didn't want um, them to think she was bossy. And so how do you deal with these different dynamics um, in a flute section and with people? And really this gets down to sometimes, you know, just working with people. If you're a young student in school and you have, you're working on a group project, you know, all those different dynamics come out of who's going to do this? You know, I don't want to be too bossy, but I want help too. And uh, so I think it's something that we can all learn from. You know, maybe you're in the workplace now and you have a boss and you have your teammates that you're working with. How do you, how do you deal with you know, different dynamics with people with different personalities um, and try to contribute the best you can. So here are my thoughts on that. Let's go back to the flute section example. So maybe you're in middle school or high school and you're in your flute section. I think, you know, the best way to kind of work on your section together is maybe your band director will let you have a flute sectional, right? Where you go out and the flutes get to work um, together. You know, generally the first flutist, the, the person in the principal seat, is the leader of the group. So <clears throat> I would hope that your band director kind of makes that clear, that the, the first chair gets to be that leader. Or your band director might invite a, a, someone from the community, a flute teacher, or me, you can invite me to your school, uh, to lead your flute section and, and help you. Because... Having someone in that leadership role makes it so much easier, right? We need someone to kind of lead a group. So if you don't have that, those dynamics set, it can be challenging. So that's number one is like find out who's going to be the leader in this case of the flute section. Um, next would be, you know, you just tune together, right? Can you guys all find a, you know, maybe start with an A or go to a D and, and play in tune or pass the tuner down the line. And then, uh, you know, metronome can do the work for you as well. You put that on. Now, those are kind of the musical basics of how you can work together as a group and maybe work on some of the problems. Um, and then, you know, if you're in middle school and some people don't really care, right? They don't really want to improve. How do you deal with that? Um, this is a tricky topic, I think, and it's kind of like the someone doesn't want to change. It's going to be really hard, challenging to make them change. And I, again, think it's up to whoever is in the leadership role, so your band director requiring um, playing tests. It's really his job to, or her job, to make those requirements. Um, but what I basically told this girl is like, you continue your high expectations. There's no better way to lead than by being an example. By continuing to improve your playing, to caring, to you nailing all the notes, the person next to you will hear and be like, wow, she's good and I want to play like that. So my biggest suggestion here is to lead by example, to change yourself, to continually improve who you are as a person. And, you know, that's also dealing with your negativities, right? Your judgments of those players down the road. Oh, they don't care. They suck. You know, those judgments are so important as well to um, recognize and, you know, especially in middle school, being careful not to to say things because this is the gossip time and people say, oh, she said that. She's everyone tells everyone what uh, the other girl said. So <clears throat> being careful about that and and noticing in yourself, it's normal to have these kind of judgments. But if you sit with them and be like, oh, why am I judging her? You know, um, is there good in that? Is there bad in that? And 
that's how you that's how you change your yeah. coming back to this idea of you you being the change you taking on your own responsibility this is the really the only thing you have control of is you and how you want to come out into the world and i i really believe that by being the best version of you by um improving at your playing improving who you are as a person continuing to be honest is so, the way forward just in being a better person yeah. um so that is my biggest piece of advice i, I know that um I think one of my counselors told me, it's like, there's your business, there's their business, and there's God's business. Um, and whose business are you in? Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. I continue to post flute videos, covers, tutorials, and I would love for you to join the tribe. Mm -hmm.